Hey guys, it's Ray. Welcome to another video. Today I am building a suburban house in a collaboration with the amazingly talented Julia Builds. What I did is I uh, took half of this lot and I said I'm going to build a uh, suburban house on the left side of it. Then I downloaded it. Um, I let her um, put it on her computer and she is going to do the other half. So we are going to have this storyline where we have these two competing families and basically they all are just trying to be better than each other. So like this house, like, yeah, it's, it's pretty cute, but you know, she's going to try to make the house like even cuter and like even fancier. And I put some exercise equipment in the gym. So like, I'm going to try to make my Sims like really fit, but like her Sims are going to be better. And I have like a little kid's room in this house and her kids are going to try to like get better grades in school than mine. So like, that's basically like the storyline between these two families, in these houses. And I just think that's a lot of fun because I don't really put a lot of thought like into my builds often. Um, and she just had like this really great idea um, for like a way to make the builds come to life. And I really like that she does that because like it helps um, with like inspiration, like building inspiration a lot easier because you know you don't have to like just come up with like random ideas. You just like you have this idea to work off of. So it kind of helps you from the like right off the bat, you know, helping you come up with ideas of what to include in the build because you kind of know the sims that are going to be living in the house. So if you guys haven't um, heard of Julia Builds, um, you definitely should go check out her channel. I'm definitely going to link it um, below in the description and I'm definitely going to put um, the link to her um, half of this collab um, when she does the other side in this video also. So um, I'm so, so excited to see what they look like together. I haven't, I seen her side and let me get, let me just say guys, it looks amazing. Um, it's definitely way better than my side. Um, she kind of made my side look like trash because she's just an amazing builder. But um, I haven't seen what they look like together on the same lot, and I'm super, super excited. I'm definitely going to include that. I think I'm going to make that the thumbnail picture of this video, but I don't have it in the screenshots later on just because the time that I'm making this video, I don't have them yet. But, like, I'm so excited to see what they look like. And let me just say, like, her half of the house is just, like, it's amazing. Like, I would say she wins with the building aspect. <laughs> um, it's just super big and detailed and I, I feel like I often have a lot of, um, I have a hard time a lot um, building sort of small houses. It was definitely challenging because I'm sort of just like a person who just builds big things. So it was really hard to kind of keep it small um, and build on this small lot. Like 50 by 40 is already kind of small for me, but then I had to split it in half and <laughs> that was just even smaller. Um, but I did end up moving it to the 50 by 50 lot in, um, what's it called? Willow Creek. Um, so I started out in um, Newcrest and this 50 by 40, but then I do move it to a 50 by 50 lot in Willow Creek. And that gives me a little bit more room like at the back, but still like it's so, like it's just so like lacking in space and area. So I was really struggling at first to try to like smush this build and it took me a few tries, but um, I did end up making it work, I think. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy this and I definitely Definitely think you should go check out Julie Builds. Like I said, she's an amazing builder. She does all sorts of things. She does modern builds. She does like super fancy builds and like she does like countryside builds, but also like things in the city. Like she can do anything. Like she builds it all and she builds it all so amazingly. Like she just does it in the best way possible. So I just, I love her. And um, I first found out about her when she commented on um, a few of my videos and I was like, who is this girl? Like, she's so nice. Then I checked her out and I was just mind blown. I was like, wow, this girl, she's amazing. Like, <laughs> she's like, I was honored <laughs> that she was like commenting on my videos because she's so good. And um, yeah, I just, I really love her. She's super nice. And I was so glad to be able to collaborate with her. Like, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a while. So I'm just really glad that um, we could finally make it happen. Um, so this house, it has four bedrooms, I think, and three bathrooms. And I'm surprised I was able to even squeeze that much in because it's just, it's very small. Like, as you can tell, it's very small compared to what I usually build, but I was able to kind of work with the space and kind of make it, fill it efficiently, basically. So, and as you can see, um, in this, um, sort of front area, I'm making a fake garage. So I did build this before the window update came out. So you'll see later I add windows below these windows in the fake garage and they aren't clear through them. Um, if you were to download this house now, they would appear clear. So it would just be one big um, like garage door full of windows. So like it wouldn't look bad or anything, but that's not originally what I intended it to look like. So that's kind of unfortunate, but like, it's okay. I mean, you know, it'll still probably look fine. Just not the way I intended it to look. And as you can see, I'm putting up little shutters now, and I love doing this with my um, 
uh, what are they called? Blinds. I always forget what they're called. Um, I use like the little blind. Um, I think I use the Discover University ones um, this time. Yeah. So I size them down and I just place them next to the windows and it makes it look super cute, like perfect little shutters there. And I think once I move it onto the 50 by 50 lot in Willow Creek, I add a little guest house in the back too. So that definitely can add an extra bedroom and bathroom. I don't think I furnished it, but um, it definitely adds some extra space if you do need more space for your Sims. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm going to link, obviously I'm going to link Julia's channel below and I'm going to link her, um, her side of the collab and definitely check it out. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
Thank you.